Stardew Valley has a lot of new things to offer and explore thanks to the recent update. Some have been leaked beforehand by concerned Abe himself, like the Iridium Scythe, Meadowlands Farm and the Big Chest recipe. But of course, we have to discover most of the new content ourselves. Here are 25 things you might have missed in the new update. Some are just minor details, while others are pretty nice quality of life changes. And I'm willing to bet that there is at least one thing on this list that you didn't know. So let's take a look. And spoilers ahead of course. While exploring around the valley, you might have noticed that there is a new message popping up on the left corner of your screen saying, you've got some new ideas to sleep on. This took me so long to figure out, but basically, this message will always appear whenever you level up in any of your skills. As mentioned before, Robin sells a new chest recipe at her shop, which doubles the capacity of regular chests. But did you also know that you can replace your normal chests with big chests while having all your items inside it? This also works with stone chests and big stone chests. Speaking of Robin's shop, she also has four new room expansions available after you upgraded your house a second time. This includes an attic, a dining room, cubby and an expanded corner room. You can now see your secret gift recipient for the Feast of the Winter Star in the menu. If you get your hands on the treasure appraisal guide that will make dinosaur eggs more valuable than dinosaur mayo. The 1.6 update introduced two new giant crops including a giant chi fruit and powder melon. Now we have one giant crop for each season. Upon entering Willy's shop, you might have noticed that there is a new machine to the right side of the room. But what you maybe didn't know is how to unlock these different types of bobbers. You will get a new bobber style for each time you catch two new fish. So in order to get all 39 styles, you will have to catch all fish including the legendary ones. You can now place torches on sprinklers. You can feed your horse with carrots. There are three new events including the Desert Festival, Trout Derby and Squid Fest. During the Trout Derby and Squid Fest, shops and stores will stay open. If Pierre is visiting the Desert Festival himself, he will place a box and a message at the counter saying that you can still purchase items and to leave the money inside the box. The bookseller will visit on two random dates each season. In case you forget, there will always be a message on the left corner of your screen after waking up whenever he's in town. You can now place paths and floorings on top of already existing buildings. Villagers get new winter outfits, which look stunning, but also new special dialogue for certain love gifts. For example, if you give Sebastian a frog egg, he will respond by saying that he will try to hatch the egg himself. All the romance candidates got custom portraits added in the recent update. If you marry someone and reach 14 hearts with them, you can buy their picture from the traveling card for 30,000 gold. This also includes Krobus. There are four new multiplayer cabins available at Robin's shop, including three houses and this adorable little camper. You can now purchase multiple pets after reaching maximum friendship with your starting animal. Simply build another pet bowl at Robin's shop and then you can buy a pet license over at Marnie's ranch. Also, you can move your pet bowl and house to a different location and the pet bowl has new variants you can choose from, including the standard stone flooring, a wooden one and one with straw. You can now place hats on cats and dogs. This does not include turtles, unfortunately. Pets that love you have a chance of gifting items to you in the morning. Here's a quick overview of the things you might get. Turtles even have a small chance of gifting seafoam pudding, which is kind of insane if you ask me. You can now upgrade your copper pan into steel, gold and even iridium, increasing the amount of ore you can find and also higher chance to spawn another panning spot. There are a few types of decorations you can place in your fish tanks to spice up their appearance, including coral, seaweed and stone. With the recent update, you can now place anchors, pearls and even treasure chests inside them. After finishing the greenhouse, you might have met the raccoon already. He offers a bunch of requests that you can do and one reward he gives you is the jungle tank. This can also be bought from his wife's shop and works as any other fish tank, but you can also place the frog egg inside it. Jelly, pickles, wine and juices are now colored based on the ingredient item. You can now access Clint's shop and geode service while your tool is being upgraded. And lastly, slime hutches are a lot smaller now. It used to be 11 times 6 tiles and got reduced to 7 times 4 tiles. 
And there you have it, 25 things you might have missed in the new update. I could go on for a lot longer, there are so many new things, additions and quality of life changes that came with the new update. So I might do another one of these videos in the future. So did you learn anything new? Because if you did, then please leave a like, it helps out so much. Let me know in the comments down below how you're enjoying the new update or if you're still waiting for the console release. And thanks for watching.